Alright, we're about to head into Mount Nebel. Let's see what has... Let's see what's in store for us. Hey, who's that? Is that my old friend Scorp? We haven't seen each other in ages. Oh man, I gotta go say hi. I'm gonna check out this uh, treasure up here. Rune blade. It looks like a chest, but you pick it up like a bag or something. Rune blade increases luck by 50. Uh, four slots, double growth, but no connections. I don't know if I'm gonna be using that. Right now, I think I need all the magic I can get. You know, the mod recently updated, and it changed a few things. Like, Cloud's Limit is different now. And maybe I'll get to show you that in a second here. These are flying, so do they take damage from Demi? They definitely give damage with Harrier, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oh, that annihilates them. Then again, Vincent isn't really the uh, magic type. You know, whenever you have like a character that has a lot of MP but doesn't use it because of a low magic stat, eh, just give him like, support magic or something that doesn't use of that magic stat. Okay, I'm gonna go up here and get a treasure chest before I go down and fight Scorp. Alright, now what am I doing here? These guys are weak against fire and ice, right? Well, the damage. finish this one off. Okay, that worked. I was, uh, I was afraid it wouldn't, but like, in just a second I'm going to show you how uh, Cloud's new limits work. To explain, every time a party member does a limit, Cloud gets a boost of stats. 10 strength, 10 magic. That can happen three times for a total of 30 strength and 30 magic. I kind of missed second one though, but you know, whatever. Okay, plus Baron. That's a weapon for red. It's a barret. Yeah, it's plus barret, not barret. Oh, what the hell, Vince? You turned into some sort of werewolf! Or were behemoth! Oh man, I thought you were a vampire. Hey, are you one of those, like, vampire werewolves that I've read about in D&D? &D? That's crazy. All the powers of a vampire and all the powers of a werewolf! You'd be unstoppable! Yeah, and like, the thing about, uh, Vincent's limits is that they, um... Every time he does a move, that counts for a new limit, so Cloud's stats can increase pretty quickly. So even though Vincent's out of control, the plus side is that Clouded can take real advantage of all that, like, limit stuff. Then again, it's not that hard to raise his stats with that, like, limit plus whatever it's called. Okay, do I want to use an ether before I go into battle? Yeah, it's been so long since we met this guy. Let's try and steal from him. Oh, he learned how to use Bolt. Uh, 
Ouch, that really hurt. Oh, just a stupid light curtain? That sucks. I don't think this guy has a lot of HP anyway. Uh oh. Oh yeah, he counters with Quake too, because I have magic counter on. So his MP is going to delete faster, he's going to drain faster, but he's always doing serious damage. Oh no, it's doing that one... It's putting Barrier up. So haste didn't heal Cloud slow, or I guess he did it twice. Whoa, that hurt. Uh oh. Wait, if I attack it with a counter, does that include like does that count as attacking it? I don't think it does. I'm not actually sure what happens when you attack it with its tail up right now. I get the feeling nothing does. Oh, let's find out. Hey, you're gonna... Uh oh Oh, it did barrier. That's not a big problem. I just do D-barrier. Like, I get the feeling it would be doing this anyway if it was, like... Uh... If it had its tail up or if I tacked it or not. Failed. De ambushing. Oh. Now, do I want to save? I think there's a save point up ahead. I'm gonna go on ahead. Well, actually, let's uh, heal. And I think, um, yeah, so potions heal just as much HP in and out of battle. There's no more, like, uh, there's no more Final Fantasy IX thing, where they heal different amounts in battle, and now on the field. Oh my god, look at this thing, it's a huge, it's a huge bed! Wait, what do I want to use to take this guy out? Ouch! I have a feeling this is... Oh god. I should have done healing wind instead of seal evil. Especially since that didn't work. On. Damn it. They're confused. They're all confused. I, I ran away. I successfully ran away. Okay, let's get some healing on you. I gotta watch out for those guys. They do confuse. In fact, I should probably put on something that nullifies that if I can. Yeah. Well, that's all I got, so whatever. This game is tricky. This mod is tricky. Okay, I'm gonna go down and lower the ladder because you should always do that. 
That door leads out to the Shinra plant. I'll probably be there later. Okay, I knocked down that ladder, so getting back up will be possible. Now that boss right there is usually over here on this entrance, but they changed it, the mod, er... Okay, now that we had a good rest, let's get back up to topside and uh, get some more treasures. There's two treasures here, and you have to go down these pipes. I'm gonna try and remember which one's the ones I'm supposed to go down. Okay. Random encounter. I hope it's not a dragon. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, what are these guys weak against? Because I have a feeling they're weak against nothing. And they're strong against kicking my ass. Weak against ice. Weak against earth. Weak against water. Okay. I'm just getting nowhere with this fight. Actually, I could try some ailments on it. I don't know, maybe, maybe the solution is... Devolution. Alright. Well, at least I got this all materia. Now, this was all materia in the original. Now I need to get that treasure right there in that rock there. I think that was pipe two? Let's find out. Or maybe it was pipe three. I'm gonna try three. Alright, these guys might be a little bit easier. I think those, uh, tentacle, those guys, I think they're abominations and therefore weak to holy. Oh, these guys do all sorts of, like, paralysis moves. What are your guys' opinions on gravity? Well, there's damage. Oh, that worked. That wasn't too bad. Alright. Boom! <sighs> Finally. Alright, Death Gigas. I... Like, all of these, uh, limits have, like, elements associated with them, so I'm thinking, do I want to switch over to Gigas right now? Would the electric element of Death Gigas work for me? Let's find out. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so maybe it was... Uh... Gem Ring. What does a Gem Ring do? Petrophy and Paralysis, Magic and Spirit, plus five. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put that on you. And you are going to get... that. We're gonna be happy. Before hitting the boss, I set up Aerith with Barrier and Cure. And then it was right on to the Power Soul Keeper.
this guy can be poisoned. Oh, well. Ow! Do I want to put Vincent in a break status? I don't think so. How much damage is this going to do? Not a lot. But his limit too increases, like, limit buff, or whatever you call it. Soul combo? Alright, that wasn't too bad. Oh, trying. Oh, do I have a... Yeah, I have an enemy skill on. Yay, got it. Alright, let's heal quickly. Har har. Okay. Uh-oh, here we go. I hope this doesn't backfire on me. I need some barrier up now. Yeah, like that. Now... Oh shoot, that hurt. I need some healing, Aerith. Yeah, like that. Thank you, Aerith. Can I just wait for him to die? Was I allowed to do that? Let's find out. I have a feeling it's not going to be that easy. Well, at least that does damage. Alright, let's see what happens. Wait, what? Aww. That's sucky. Well, he doesn't have a lot of health left, so I don't know. We'll manage. I like how he keeps on going for Aerith, and he keeps on missing. I laugh at him. I should dispel him, or to barrier him. At least that does damage. I think his barriers are gone now, yeah, because I'm doing some super damage. Odd. Oh crap, that doesn't sound good. I better hurry up and deal with this guy. Oh, I should use all my summons. I should also watch Vincent die in front of me. Okay. Vincent's about to clock out in just a hot second. Actually, everyone's about to clock out. Oh, don't tell me I'm about to win this battle. I guess not? Heal. And then 
use the healing wind. Hopefully this will pull us through. We also might need some new barriers if we can get them up. We should probably focus on just finishing this guy off. Alright. Oh. Well, there we go. Everyone's up, everyone's alive. I didn't steal anything from him, and, you know, with all these uh, bosses having multiple phases, maybe I could have stole something, but hey, we're all alive. We all get to have some AP and experience. And the power soul. Hey, what's this? Ooh, HP slash MP materia. Okay. I should concentrate. I should think about that. Oh, Cloud's at rank 4. Congratulations, Cloud. Uh, I'm gonna go Machinoid. Oh, and yeah, uh, something else. Okay, so a change that new threat did. You get fewer sources now, but they increase the stat by 5, so luck just went up 5 for Cloud. Speed went up by 10, or well, Dexterity. Spirit just went up by 10. Magic? 5, 10, 15. Let's check those stats. Oh yeah, look at that. 99 magic. Yeah, this is a really good theme. I'm glad it's back. Anyway, before leaving, I decided to look for some treasure. Along the way, Cloud learned his third tier limit break. Aerith's still stuck on her first tier, so I decided to give her some attack magic so she could get more kills in and level up her tiers. I found some decent treasure, including the Peacemaker, a weapon for Vincent. It's got high attack power, can silence, and has double growth rate, but unfortunately it doesn't attack everyone like the shotgun, and it has one fewer materia slots. After that, it was time to head out to the world map, and that leads to the end of this episode of New Threat. Have a good night.